Hello, my name is David and I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at Leboy. Today we're going to be looking at this 40-foot medical clinic that is going to San Juan, Puerto Rico. It's a 40-foot unit. It's 40 foot long, 12 and a half foot tall, 102 inches wide. It's built on a Freightliner M2 chassis powered by a Cummins diesel engine and an Allison 10-speed automatic transmission. When you look at the coach, all of our coaches come with shore power, generator power, and battery power. This particular coach is powered by a 14,000 watt EPS diesel generator. <clears throat> Some of the equipment in this coach requires generator power and others can run off of battery. Back here, we have our dump tanks. So any plumbing in a Leboit coach is run under the cabinetry. We don't put any plumbing outside the coach so that it doesn't freeze. As long as the interior of the coach is warm, your plumbing will not freeze. The only thing that is under the floor of the coach are the dump tanks. So this, as you can see, is a gray water dump tank. You pull that up and every one of these doors has a hold open. And then there's your tank. Here's your connection for your hose and there's your valve to dump the tank. We provide the hoses and all the connections for you to be able to dump these tanks based upon your state's regulation. So at going to an authorized dump center, whether you need to or not, depending on that criteria. Back here, we have both a black and a gray water tank. Again, the door's open, you have a hold open, and there are your two valves. Now, the reason there are multiple dump tanks on this coach is again, to eliminate the space required for a bunch of plumbing, we'll put the dump tank directly underneath the, the bathroom or the sink or whatever it is working for. So up there, that dump tank is for a sink. We have a bathroom back here. So we have a gray and a black water for that bathroom. So you might have multiple dump tanks, again, depending, and it's all done to keep the amount of plumbing running in the coach to a minimum. When we come up here and we look at the inside of the Freightliner chassis. So all of our chassis are equipped with all, with all of the options available at the time of production. So this, is, this coach is an air ride chassis. So it's two bag air ride, dual wheel, 26,000 pound GVW. Inside we have dual air ride captain's chairs. We have collision mitigation. We have lane departure, adaptive cruise control, uh, navigation. We have premium sound, power windows, power door locks. This coach does have air brakes and it also has keyless entry. Coming around, you can see the front of the coach. All of our larger coaches have these swing out arms. They lock both open and shut, and they just swing out like that. And then this is the battery compartment. I mentioned a moment ago that we have battery power. So in here, you have your large battery that powers the coach itself. And then each generator, if there's multiple, in this case, there's one, this second battery is for the generator. You also have under here your master kill switch. That switch, if turned off, will kill the entire coach. Inside, and you'll see in a minute, you have the ability to turn breakers on and off and to control the individual components of the coach. This switch will kill everything. We, we recommend that that switch is not used except for in the case of service. Back here, we have storage boxes. So again, on the larger coaches, you have many options for under body storage, depending upon your configuration and depending upon how, what's running under the coach. So this is a 48 inch storage box. You can put whatever you want in there. It's sealed, it's rhino lined. So whatever's gonna be in there will be dry, be safe. And you can put that. And these boxes also do lock. <clears throat> our standard offering on large coaches is our flip out steps. Pull open like that, they come down like that. They have tread plate on them. Now, as we come inside the coach, 
you'll notice up here in the front. On our above cabin storage, you have a number of options. This particular customer has chosen a refrigerator and then adjustable shelving unit. So all these shelves adjust in here and they can use that for any purpose. Over here, you have your generator controls. So everything in this coach is set up to be done from in here. The only reason you would ever get in the compartment that I showed you outside would be for service. So you can start the generator here, stop it. It'll give you runtime, RPMs, and all kinds of information here in this control center. Up here, you have the hydraulic leveling jacks, and there are the controls for those. And also too, I showed you the dump tanks. This truck has the optional tank monitoring system. So instead of just having to keep track of when you dump your tanks or whatever, that will tell you. It'll tell you levels, tell you when they're full, and you know when to dump them. This is our master power panel <clears throat> divided by AC and DC. So this top half is everything that will run on generator or shore power. The bottom is the DC panel, which runs on battery. The other thing you'll notice here is everything is on its own breaker. So we set our coaches up so that you can control every piece of equipment or every uh, electrical device with its own breaker. Many times in a building or in a home, you turn a breaker off to do service, you're killing a half a room or maybe a whole room or a hallway or whatever. In our coaches, everything's on its own. So if you're gonna work on the refrigerator, you flip the breaker that only has the refrigerator on it and everything's controlled. And I showed you the master kill switch outside. In here, you have ultimate control. So if you park the truck for the weekend or for the evening or whatever, and you want your refrigerator to run because you still have things in it, you can turn everything in the coach off and leave your breaker on and your refrigerator will still run provided the battery is charged up enough for that to use it. So you have control here, so you should never have to use the master kill switch, again, unless you're storing the vehicle for an extended period of time or going in for service. You have your breakers for your shore power, your generator power, and our electrical systems in these coaches are completely autonomous from the, the electrical system in the Freightliner chassis, with one exception. There is a switch right here, it's called a boost switch. What that switch is for is if you're driving somewhere, you're going out into a rural area and you get out there and your generator, the battery's low and it won't turn over. You can come in here, flip this switch, and you can start your generator off of your Freightliner battery. Conversely to that, if your generator has been running all day, you get ready to leave and you go to start the Freightliner, battery's low, you can flip this switch, you can start the Freightliner off of the battery uh, off of the generator battery. That's the only place where these two electrical systems connect. Over here, you have your IT cabinet. So you'll see in here, you have your category six cabling. You have your power for any IT equipment or other equipment you need to put in there. All of our coaches come standard with four category six cables. You can get more if that's required. Also too, we have the power inverter. This coach has a 1000 watt power inverter. It's also, uh, in here as well. And as you look throughout the coach, anywhere you see a gray outlet, that's an inverted outlet. The white outlets are your standard outlets that would be over here. <clears throat> here we have a single seat bench. Under the single seat bench is a central vac. So all of our benches, when you see them, have under, under bench storage. This one, since it has the central vac, also has all the hoses and connections and attachments for the vacuum where you can vacuum out the truck. Over here, we have a, uh, the mounts for oxygen tanks. Again, this is a metal, medical unit. This front area is kind of a waiting slash uh, triage room for the clinic. And these are mounts for the oxygen tanks. These seats right here, these are DOT approved, approved uh, Friedman seats. Now, the reason those are in here is we have benches in all of our coaches. Those benches are not legal to transport passengers. If you're going to transport a passenger, you must have a DOT approved seat. That's what these are. These seats mount to the frame of the coach and they have seat belts. So this particular customer is going to be transporting people, uh, technicians or whatever in the clinic. So they required these seats. Here you have your typical exam equipment for your medical unit. You've got a sharps container, your sink and work area there. Now, on the other side of this room to the left, 
is a Rikon wheelchair lift for handicap access. So <clears throat> this is required, uh, obviously, to get wheelchair bound or handicapped people into the coach. But many people that use federal grants for funding for medical clinics will require a Rikon lift. This can be placed, depending upon the design, in several different configurations or places inside the coach. The front wall of the coach is got a security wall with a locking front door. We do an, what we call a pass-through, which is where the, it's completely open between the cab and the coach. We do a solid wall where it's walled off and you cannot pass through to the cab of the coach. Or this particular coach has a configuration of the security wall and locking door. So this door goes between the front of the coach, it locks open, or it also locks shut. So you have the security. If you have someone driving the coach or it's in for service or whatever, and you want them to have access to the front, but not back here, you can lock the side door, lock this door, and this area is secure. Now we're gonna go on forward into coach. As you come in through here, you have a, kind of a work area. So this is a medical refrigerator. We do offer medical fridges and medical freezers. And we do also have the option on a medical freezer for there to be LP backup. So it'll run on electricity, or if you use electricity, you have backup that's LP. But this is a medical unit. So the refrigerator that I showed you in the front would be for lunch or any personal food or whatever you need to put in the refrigerator. This white lab, lab rep is strictly for medical use. And then you have your drawers, your counter space, and your other work area over here with the stool and sink in this room. Now, one thing I will tell you, as I mentioned the gray inverter outlets, there is an example of one. So this white outlet is your standard uh, power. This is inverted power. In here, in this room right here, is a bathroom. So that is a full bath. Our full baths have sink and commode. We also do a half bath, which is uh, just a commode. And then we have a third option, which we build the room. And if you don't want plumbing in your coach, we can put a cartridge commode in there and then you would dump it after each use. All of our coaches come standard with a bathroom. Or if you choose not to take a bathroom, we will replace that with a closet as a standard feature as well. Now this coach, as I mentioned, is going to San Juan, Puerto Rico. And the customer that ordered this coach said that in San Juan, they sometimes have an issue getting an emergency squad because of the population and the traffic and things like that. And this particular customer wanted to be able, if they had a, a, a patient or if was found somebody that needed emergency care, they wanted to be able to basically be, take them directly to the hospital. So the back of this unit is at, set up like an emergency squad. This coach does have sirens and lights on the outside, and this is a certified EMT stretcher. It mounts to the floor, it's got rails to the back. If you come back here, you see the double doors, and they can roll in to a medical facility. These double doors come open. This cover, as you can see in the floor, pops up. The, release the rails on the stretcher, it comes right back down, goes down and out the back of the truck. And then also too, you have steps in the bumper and coming up for you to walk in and out if necessary once the gurney leaves. So this is for emergency purposes. You also have more oxygen. You've got your, your uh, medical cart here. You can have equipment, computer, whatever moves around. This is an additional closet. <clears throat> so that's in there. And then you have your workspace along the sides. So this, as I said, it's set up to be a medical clinic in the front and basically an ambulance in the rear. You can see patients back here if you wish, if you don't have an emergency situation, but that's kind of the way this was set up. Now, all of our coaches uh, come with electric heat. And as you see right there, um, they come standard with electric heat. You can get in cabinet or toe kick heaters as we call them, or wall mounted electric heaters. Um, here's an example of an electric heater back here. We do have additional heat options. We have LP furnace, Wabasto diesel or gas uh, uh, heaters. They're very efficient. Um, obviously with this coach going into the Caribbean, it did not need additional heat. 
but those are options as well. This coach has four 15,000 watt air conditioners in the ceiling um, and that we do have two versions. We have 15,000 watt and 13.5. These are the 15,000 variety. We also have this fan in the ceiling uh, and that is a two-way fan. It's got a cover that opens up and if you shut all the doors, you turn this fan on, it is certified, it'll create a negative airspace and it can evacuate the air out of this coach. <clears throat> this, uh, you'll see right here, um, this coach also has a sound system. So it, as I mentioned earlier, you have the sound system in the front of the coach, uh, but we do offer also the ability for a Kenwood sound system in the back of the coach. Uh, again, it's a premium sound system. It's actually mounted right under that cabinet right there. Uh, and you can do auxiliary, you can do satellite, you can do uh, all with that. So with that, this is again, a 40 foot medical coach. And thank you for joining me on this tour today.